Recycle your garbage, they sing, and protect your environment. Their audience are workers at an industrial park. It's a novel approach to raising environmental awareness, and all part of a waste recycling project in India. Garbage has become a livelihood for these women. Sakobai Krishnaveni is one of them. Like many of the others here, she came from the countryside. She had no education and no work. Now she drives a truck, collecting rubbish from companies in the industrial park. She then sorts it herself, separating the plastic, paper, glass and metal so that it can be sold. It's enough to earn her a modest income. Before I started here, I only ever had brief jobs, maybe just for a few days, or no job at all. So I had no regular income and never knew what I'd have to live on. In the past, garbage was simply left to rot on makeshift dumps or burned. Now it's sorted and recycled, so the women are helping to protect the environment. Every day, nine, tons, nine to ten tons of garbage we are properly managing. The emissions is really, really it's reducing. So greenhouse gases is reducing through this. Hyderabad is a rapidly growing industrial metropolis in southern India. The city is home to some six million people, and they all want to share in the new increasing prosperity. There are dozens of industrial parks in the region. Factories stand in the middle of residential areas, and heavy trucks fill the streets. All the exhaust fumes are simply being pumped out into the area. Until now, not a lot of thought was given to environmental protection. Industrial park manager Vinod Kumar and his colleagues are looking to change that. They want to raise awareness of the need to protect the environment. Their first step was to introduce special channels for collecting rainwater at the parks. In the past, the heavy monsoon rains often flooded entire factories. Toxic substances were washed out and left to soak into the ground. Now the rainwater is channeled away. The park is looking to collect all its industrial wastewater and purify it here at this treatment plant. They used to let out the, the, their wastewater into the open ground. That was creating a very pollution hazard. That chemicals, lead and chemicals and all these things that they are uh, throwing out in an open area. That is very hazardous. Their first job was to convince company directors that protecting the environment is a worthwhile investment. Salicylates was one of the first to sign up. It's a chemical and pharmaceuticals company that consumes a lot of power. Poorly insulated pipes meant the company was using more energy than necessary. Now the pipes have been insulated properly and the company is already saving nearly 9,000 euros a year. Heat energy will not be transferred into the atmosphere and then when coal consumption is more, everything and then again CO2 emission, it will be more into that. In that way, we are able to save energy both in terms of coal as well as environmental also. Salicylates is a supplier for the chemicals industry. Going green is good for the company's image. The company is now saving nearly 1,200 tons of CO2 a year, and there's plenty more potential to cut that output further. The boiler, for example, is still heated by a coal fire. Right next door in the same industrial park is the printing works for the Times of India. It does the print run for the greater Hyderabad region. Outside, it's 42 degrees Celsius. The air conditioning alone guzzles electricity. But a few adjustments to it have already cut electricity consumption by over 22,000 kilowatt hours a year. That's worth quite a few thousand euros, which soon convinced the manager that protecting the environment is a good thing. Sunshades out on the roof are another simple but effective way of cutting costs. They help protect the heat exchangers for the air conditioning from the blazing sun. We are not claiming any patent for this, but I would certainly say that if this is used in all the places, the energy uh, could be cut by around 10 to 12 percent in every place. 
very simple structure, but very effective. Inspired by the drive to cut costs, the Times of India is now also planning to introduce solar-powered lamps. The first ones have already been installed. The German development agency GIZ believes there's still a lot more to be done. It's looking to get more company managers on board and is reaching out to women directors in particular. The best part of this particular tool we have applied is uh, this will be a very practical approach. They might even start making savings uh, without making investments and significantly contribute to environment and climate change issues. Industrial park manager Vinod Kumar is now a dedicated environmentalist. He says the park's energy saving efforts are only just at the beginning and there's still plenty to do. If all the calculated potentials under the project are fully tapped, we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions equivalent to 3.8 million tons per year. That is the major achievement of the eco-friendly parks. It's now evening. Most of the workers at the industrial park have finished their shift and are heading home. The women from the waste recycling project still have a little more work ahead of them, but then they too will be done for the day.